And that's really going to be the situation as these temperatures hold steady right through the afternoon, mainly in the mid to upper 40s. A few, few cool spots. Monticello's at 39. Hopewell Junction has 43 and Montgomery at 42. Islip is at 47. Upper 40s down the Jersey Shore. Newark, uh, Newark right now is at 48 degrees. So rain has increased in intensity at times. But at other times, it's been nothing more than a drip here or there. So looking at the city right now, we do have a little bit of a dry spot, dry patch over Staten Island right now. As far as the radar estimating how much rain, very little, less than a tenth of an inch in most places. Quarter of an inch came up for West Hampton. They've gotten the most quick downpour there. And it, really, I think what happened is, is the wave of uh, moisture went over the ocean, picked up a little more intensity, and so they got more than everybody else. Rain on and off, and so it'll be wet during the commute. The rain ends about 7 p.m to the east so Long Island you'll see the rain last and then temperatures will remain mild tonight even behind the system and we get another day tomorrow of above average temperatures so plenty of rain still to come but if we get a third of an inch out of this it would be very impressive for the most part it's a light steady rainfall nothing more than a nuisance here's where we're going to get the increase in intensity uh, parts of Nassau and Suffolk County going to see a quick moderate shower same story coming up through South Jersey right now and just into the northwest uh, portions of New Jersey across Sussex County we've had some intense rainfall but for the most part these are gonna be quick little bursts where it gets to be moderate rain and then it goes right back down to the drizzle by tomorrow we'll be in between storms so this rain will move offshore we get a pretty decent day tomorrow high 47 that's above average for this time of year and a mix of sun and clouds we'll be waiting for the next cold front that comes in late Wednesday night into Thursday this one had the potential to produce a quick shower. We won't rule out the possibility early on Thursday of getting a little bit of rain, but I think the temperatures are just too warm and the moisture will be really limited. So watching the future cast roll through, rain leaves us late tonight, or late the, this afternoon to tonight, and then by tomorrow we watch this front and it really becomes moisture starved as it gets closer. And so if we get a quick moving shower early on Thursday, that would be impressive. But the rest of Thursday is looking pretty good. And as we get into the weekend, the main attention grabber will be temperatures, which are cut almost in half from this.